I will explain the procedure for the overhaul of the cylinder head. Prior to the disassembly, prepare the hydraulic tools. This engine has a feature that enables you to easily carry out the work in disassembling and assembling with the use of the exclusive hydraulic tools. Wrapping the coupler with seal tape prevents the oil leaking from the hydraulic tools. and prepare the cylinder head lifting tool. Let's start disassembling the cylinder head. Drain the cooling water of the cylinder block and detach the exhaust manifold cover. Remove the bolts of the exhaust manifold in doing so, loosening the bolts of the cylinders on both adjacent sides of the target cylinder will make the work easier in reassembling. And remove the piping and the fitting attached to the cylinder head. Detach the cover of the rocker arm chamber and remove the exhaust gas temperature indicator. Remove the fuel injection valve with the drawing out tool. Then remove the rocker arm shaft, pedestal, push rod, and valve bridge. Remove the cooling water collection pipe. After removing the fittings around the cylinder head, remove the tightening nuts of the cylinder head by using the exclusive hydraulic tool. First, however, before attaching the tool, remove the protective rubber caps that protect the cylinder head, attaching bolts. The work for attaching the hydraulic tool starts from fitting the spacer to the tightening nut of cylinder head bolt. In doing so, align the notch of the spacer to the contiguous head side. Fit the spacer to all of the four tightening nuts of the cylinder head. Attach the hydraulic jack to the bolts and screw it in until it fits tightly to the spacers of the respective four nuts. By turning the hydraulic jack clockwise, it is tightly fastened to the cylinder head bolt. Connect the hydraulic hose to the hydraulic jack. Tighten up the tightening screw of the hydraulic hose firmly. Next, connect the hydraulic pump with hydraulic hose, operate the air valve of hydraulic pump and open the relief valve.
Loosen the hydraulic jack counterclockwise by a full turn after tightly fastening it. This is to prevent the possibility of not being able to detach it as a result of there being no clearance left when you apply hydraulic pressure on the hydraulic jack. After the hydraulic jack is set in the four cylinder head bolts, check again the direction of the spacer. Check that it does not interfere with the tightening nut of the adjacent cylinder head bolt and also if the hole is loosening the tightening nut of the cylinder head bolt can be seen from the clearance of the spacer. This is the end of the work for attaching the hydraulic tool. Before applying the hydraulic pressure, check again each attaching portion of the hydraulic hose. And finally, close the relief valve of the hydraulic pump tightly. cylinder liner or at the top of the piston by the descaling agent. After cleaning, check that there is no corrosion or scratches in the cylinder and then cover the cylinder as to not allow dust and poor matters to enter it. 